Okay, so here we have Greg with the before swings. This was the, you know, complaining about the swing length, wanted to increase the swing, but didn't feel like we were, you know, flexible enough to swing longer. So he's a very short swing length there in the initial. A lot, lot of good moves, but, but obviously very short with the swing length. Now here's after doing the drills that we're talking about. No changes to anything else, not thinking about turning more, but obviously look at the difference in the overall motion. And so the pieces we talked about, we're getting the club head to travel far. Look at before, the club head's way back here, uh, well behind his trail foot. Now the club head is over here uh, in front of his lead foot closer to the target. So look how much farther the club head traveled. So we increased the turn quite a lot without having to think about it by just getting the arms and club uh, pieces moving. So quite a dramatic difference in overall swing length, which is gonna lead to more speed and more power. Let's talk about how we can do that for you. Hey guys, just wanna give a special shout out to our sponsors, Municipal. You guys see me wearing the hats and the shirts in all of these videos. They've been a great partner for us and I absolutely love all of the clothing and really they're just getting better and better and better. They're dropping new gear all the time. Some of it's in limited quantity. So if you wanna go check that out and you like it, make sure you grab that right away. They've got a new line of golf apparel coming out, but they don't have just the golf stuff. I'm also wearing the municipal things really everywhere. I wear the shorts and t-shirts to the gym. The hoodies that they have are like the most comfortable thing, the hoodies and the sweatpants. So it's really stuff that I can wear and you can wear when you're going to play golf, but it's also casual. I, mean, I could leave the golf course, be at home, go to the gym. Absolutely love the municipal gear if you haven't tried any of it before grab a polo grab a municipal hack you're going to absolutely love their gear we'll put the uh, link in the description down below okay today's video is all about if you're lacking flexibility or think you're lacking flexibility and want some strategies to hit the ball farther especially as we get older. Listen, I'm not super flexible or wasn't super flexible before. I completely get it. I work with a lot of players who feel like their flexibility is limiting their ability to make full backswings. It's costing them distance. Maybe you don't hit the ball quite as far as you used to uh, you know, in your younger days. What I wanna do is restore some of that without having to add any flexibility. So given your current flexibility, I wanna show you two strategies that you can do to increase your swing length, get more speed, and hit the ball farther. I'm gonna show you those. Before we do, I wanna show you a recent KagornoGolf.com member that I've been working with. Same exact issue, talking about lacking flexibility, lacking power, wanted to increase backswing length. I'm gonna show you the two strategies I showed him, and then we'll come back, we'll put those in your swing as well. Okay, so here's one of our members, Greg, doing the drill here um, that I'm gonna show you. So notice we're starting off with the club forward, to create some momentum, trail arm only, and he's gonna make these back swings where he's trying to get the club head traveling as far towards the target as possible. So complete freedom of motion here. Club heads forward, create the momentum, let the club head try and travel as far towards the target as possible. It's gonna let that right shoulder work around towards the target, create a little momentum. Same thing, so we do three with the right arm only, Feel the right shoulder closer to the target. There's lots of turning pieces happening for free by just letting that right arm and club head travel. Then he wants to have the same sensations with both hands on, start with the club forward. And what we talked about was just don't be shy about letting the arms fold a little here. You see that little extra add on there? Just, just to add a little bit of swing length there. Let the arms fold a little bit. Let the right wrist fold a little bit to get that extra swing length. Club head forward. Let those arms fold a little bit. Maximize the swing length there. I want to do three of those. So three right arm onlys, three letting the arms fold uh, like this to the top. Let me show you what that did for him compared to his normal, and then I'll show you how to do it for yourself. Okay, so here we have Greg with the before swings. This was the, you know, complaining about the swing length, wanted to increase the swing, but didn't feel like we were, you know, flexible enough to swing longer. So he's a very short swing length there in the initial. A lot, lot of good moves, but, but obviously very short with the swing length. Now here's after doing the drills that we're talking about, no changes to anything else, not thinking about turning more, but obviously look at the difference in the overall motion. And so the pieces we talked about, we're getting the club head to travel far. Look at before, the club head's way back here, uh, well behind his trail foot. Now the club head is over here uh, in front of his lead foot closer to the target. So look how much farther the club head traveled. Now, some ancillary benefits that we didn't talk about, but happen as a byproduct of getting the arms to travel, getting the club to travel, is you can see much better turn. 
You can see the lead femur and leg is kicked in some, which we like. You can see how the trail shoulder is closer to the target than the lead shoulder. So much bigger turn compared to on the bottom, the lead leg out towards the target. You see the trail shoulder behind the lead shoulder, so much less turn. So we increase the turn quite a lot without having to think about it by just getting the arms and club uh, pieces moving. So quite a dramatic difference in overall swing length which is gonna to lead to more speed and more power. Let's talk about how we can do that for you. So there we got some good visual images, right, of how different Greg's backswing length look and how much more turn he had, and we never talked about adding turn. All we really focused on was getting the arms and club moving and getting his focus there and let his body respond to those motions. So, Here's what I'd like you to do, and you can do this right at home or out on the range to help increase that backswing length. I like to start here with trail arm onlys. When you make a backswing, if you take your lead arm off and just do a trail arm only swing, it's very easy to get that club head and arm traveling farther during the backswing. Now, why that is, is because if I try and add my left hand to that, I can't get there, right? It requires incredible body motion to get up that far, and that's okay. I want you to feel, I want your brain to feel like what it's like to go that far, get that club head traveling closer to the target as far as you can. Now, we like to do it with the club starting forward. So what I told Greg was, hey, let's do three swings. And so this is what I want you to do. Start with the club head forward, create a little bit of momentum going back here like this, and then let that club head go behind you. We kind of look at it like a toss and fold, toss and fold. So we're trying to get the club head as close to the target as you can. Notice the club head is well in front of my left foot as I do it. My hands go even past where my head is. I'm feeling that right shoulder working all the way around. I want to feel that a couple times with my right arm only. We did three of those. Then I said, hey, put your left hand on. Let's do three, same procedure, and start to feel the same thing with both hands on. So the club's forward. I feel like it's tossing back and then folding. So same sort of feels like I'm getting up to the top. Now, like I told Greg and like I'd tell you, sometimes we get a little bit more specific about the arms being straighter, you know, for solidness of contact and some consistency. But a lot of the older players that I work with, and maybe, you know, they can't move as, as, as well, maybe as someone who's 20, let's say, not as flexible, I don't mind having a little bit of arm bend at the top to allow some swing length increase. In fact, um, there's some good clips of Tiger Woods when he's been playing as he's come making his resurgence on the tour. And you see him making swings, his arms are bent at the top. He's trying to increase his swing length, right? And get some swing length going. And that's really the same thing that I want you to feel. So when you put both hands on, it's okay to feel the arms folding a little bit. So right arm only for three. Feel that right shoulder retract behind you. Get that club head as close to the target as you can. And notice my body motions as I'm doing that. My left heel's coming up off the ground. My left knee's kicking in towards the right a little bit. Right, my right leg is straightening, the hips pushing back. All these things I'm doing without thought by just my brain trying to get the club head all the way up and back. And then I start to feel those same things here. And don't mind the arms folding a little bit. Now for Greg in particular, we saw how his swing was very short and he lacked any hinging. So I was also having him feel like not only was his right arm gonna fold more, See how that increases the swing length, but also the wrists were going to hinge more. So you're going to bend that right wrist up and back. So not being shy about the arms folding and not being shy about the wrist hinging to get that club head traveling up and back farther. You want to kind of feel in your mind, like think you're going to look like John Daly. It's kind of the idea, but then that should look fairly normal if you're coming from a shorter position. So if you lack flexibility, if you're not able to move how you want as much, I'd like you to be thinking about getting the arms and hands and club traveling farther to help increase the speed and hit the ball farther, right, relative to what your, your, your swing is. So here I've just got a seven iron here. I'd be taking those same feels. Don't be shy about lengthening that back swing out. My main goal here is to get immediate power. So I'm okay with those other variables. Let's feel the same thing. So I'm feeling my arms, hands, and club traveling back farther. And the goal with me feeling like I'm doing the same effort is to hit the ball farther. Now, that feels to me like I'm swinging at the same speed. I don't think I'm swinging any harder, but that ball carried an extra 10 yards compared to my normal. So my normal seven irons I hit are like, 
you know, they carry 175. That one carried 185, hit the ball dead straight. Everything else was normal. And that's the point is by feeling the arms, hands, club travel longer, you're gonna get your body to do a lot of things naturally. You should get more distance without more effort with not only your irons, but also your driver. So give that one a chance. I think what you'll see is exactly like Greg saw, right arm onlys, let the arms fold a little bit, let, the wrist, let those wrists hinge a little bit, and let the arm and club motion create the body motion. If you guys have any questions about this, as always, would like to keep the conversation going in the comments down below. If you like the video, do us a favor, click that like button, it really helps us out. Maybe share it out to a friend and uh, consider subscribing. All that really helps the channel. We appreciate all of you watching.